All right, my friends. So here I am just gonna show you all of my colors. The consistency is the same. I've used my three to one. Um, and this light blue permanent, it looks a little bit thicker, but I promise you that they were all the same viscosity, if you will. So just going to go through that and kind of narrate what's happening. So today I am doing a couple of blooms and I'm going to do one blowing out without the hair diffuser, uh, which will be up first. And then the second one, I'm going to use the hair diffuser and I'm going to show you how um, we can really get the lighter colors to spread out. Um, I add a little bit of our darker greens and blues in this first bloom so that um, we have some color contrast but I really wanted a light colored bloom to resemble like a flower um, we're kind of ending summer if you will so we're going to farewell um, to the wonderful season of fall or autumn whatever you whatever you like <laughs> And um, on the second bloom, I'm actually going to use the hair diffuser and you'll see a difference. I add just a little bit more of our darker colors, but the difference in the two blooms are going to be major. Um, and that diffuser really helps to push the top colors out. Whereas when I don't use a diffuser, it has a broader blowout. So we're getting those colors underneath to show up a little bit more. Now, if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you would press that subscribe button, hit the like button. I hope you are enjoying my content and we're just going to watch for a little bit. <laughs> so you can see I've done lots of light colors at the bottom and I am adding those darker colors for the contrast but the light um, the puddles of the light colors are way larger so that is what is going to spread out I'm going to use my hair dryer and this is a pretty big canvas you know just one bloom so as long as my cell activator doesn't act up it will spread out over the entire canvas and then there should be a little bit of concentration in the center of the darker colors um, for that contrast now, this is the magic sauce or the cell activator, if you will. Once again, it's three to one. It hardly ever changes. I might go four to one sometimes, but it's three to one Australian Floatron to paint. And you've seen it once, you see it again. Here is the consistency of my cell activator.
All right, friends. So using the diffuser, it has a little bit less of a downward force, which then allows me to pull up more pillow without digging too much in the pillow. Now, this is more of like an advanced conversation. If you are brand new to Blooms, I wouldn't so much worry about this, but I like to give tips whenever I do a video, even if I am just pouring and I want to just show you what what I'm doing. Um, and you'll see when we use a diffuser that the downward blow is more concentrated over more of a concentrated area and we will spread those dark colors out much better and much farther because they are on top and the force of that diffuser is a bit different. And so now I'm using my coveted straw. I love having a straw on hand. Actually, I love having a box of straws on hand because condensation does build up rather quickly in a straw. And those little uh, bubbles of, of condensation on your painting can ruin some really pretty things in the center. So I switched them out very frequently. Um, and yeah, you know, my mouth clean. So I use straws over and over. I'll keep them for a couple weeks and then I'll get rid of them. Um, and I have some metal straws and I do clean them from time to time. It's just kind of a pain, but you know, trying to preserve our environment and all that good stuff. So eventually I'm just gonna switch completely to metal straws. But look, look at that spin out. So the white is definitely pillow, but like I told you, we have less, um, we are working with less force. So we can pull up the white without digging too much into the white and the white actually covering our colors. So you can see I added some darker tones earlier on with our uh, lime green, but then we also did like our emerald green and the um, permanent blue, light permanent blue. I will also add some more green and Prussian blue, and you're going to see a major difference immediately as we start to blow out with our diffuser. Baby. 
So my friends, you can see how the colors really spread on top with that diffuser. And I'm happy to share that both of these pieces are actually sold. Um, they sold at the Fluid Art Experience in Dallas, Texas, which was an amazing time. I'm still working on that video for you all on a recap. But I did frame them so you can see some, how some of my work looks framed. And I'm going to be framing more of my art and putting some new things up on the website. But for now, I hope you have a wonderful, amazing day. And remember, do every single thing with love.